Good morning, good morning, beloved. Welcome to Morning Manna. Good morning, Mother Jackie. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say good morning to everyone. It is a blessing and an honor to be with you this morning. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. He's worthy to be praised. Good morning, Angela. Good to see you, baby. Amen. All of you that are coming on, please let us know where you're coming in from. If this is your first time joining us, let us know so we can welcome you. Praise the Lord. Also, feel free to share this broadcast with your followers. Uh, share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Good morning, Prophet Hall. Good morning, everybody. Angel, God bless you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. We thank God again for you. Praise God. Um, it's good to be to be home. <laughs> it's good to be home. Praise God. Um, it's been a minute. Praise the Lord. But you know what? God is so, so good. And I say that all the time. It's true. Amen. God bless you, sir. Good morning. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I have my son-in-law tipping in and my hallelujah. Praise God. Um, I want to talk about today principles of prayer. But before I do that, before I do that, good morning, Michelle. God bless you, daughter. Good to have you on today. Before I do that, um, I just want to say, if you have prayer requests, okay, please send them to us. Morningmana2016 at gmail.com. It's important. We want to pray with you. We want to touch and agree with you. We want to believe God for your healing. If you have issues that, you know, sometimes we have things that are going on. We, we, we can't really say all of what we would like to in this setting. But if you do have prayer requests, we do invite you to share them with us. Uh, we'll be glad to pray. We have a prayer team that is always on call, on duty, 24-7. The soldiers are on alert. Praise God, we don't mind calling them up day or night, and they will get on the wall and they will intercede and pray. Praise the Lord. Uh, we do have midnight prayer Monday through Friday as well. Um, and so we have a, a team of intercessors that have been called to pray, to seek the face of God. So we want to uh, touch and agree with you. And how many of you know it's so, so important to stay in the place of prayer? Morning manna is designed to give you bread from heaven, the, the, the bread that God uh, wants you to get every morning. Now, it's important that you spend time with God every day. I'm going to say it every time I get on here, as the Lord gives me, I'm going to say it, okay? Um, you, need, you need prayer, okay, all right. So, Father God, I lift this one up right here, and I ask you, Lord, to um, touch and minister I, I thank you, Father, that your word declares that you will take the spirit of heaviness and you will give us the garment of praise. So I, 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 I come against sorrow, I come against grief, I come against mourning, I come against heaviness in the name of Jesus. And I ask you, dear Lord, to wrap this dear one with your praise and love and let them know how much you love them and how much you care. Minister right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. We bind the enemy and every attack of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Father, for the peace of God that you give, the strength that you give, Father. Your comforting, Father God. Thank you for your word, that your word is alive. It is quick, it is powerful. And when we send the word out in the atmosphere, it goes out and it does what it is sent forth to do. So I thank you and I praise you for that right now. Destroy every yoke in this one's life right now in jesus name and father we thank you we praise you for liberty thank you god for your word that your word stands up hallelujah and you're looking for soldiers you're looking for men and women of god you're looking for warriors that will stand up hallelujah at any moment glory to god will stand up and decree and declare the word of the lord so i speak forth your word right now and i thank you for uh, what you're doing i thank you for miracles i thank you father that you'll perform miracles in his life in the mighty name of jesus and lord we praise you in jesus name for it yes reveal yourself father god as only you can hallelujah lord god they need we need to see you we need to see who you are hallelujah we need an experience with you and father we thank you for morning manna 
because we know that Father God uh, you send your word hallelujah and we thank you for the word of God we thank you Father God that when we are sensitive to you you will give us how to pray so we thank you we praise you for it now in Jesus name I pray amen thank you Jesus thank you Lord so as I was saying um, uh, it, it's in, it's in, it's important okay okay I have a whole lot of a lot of um, trolls so we, we bind them in Jesus name okay you want God in your life you need Christ in your life all right um, have you accepted the Lord if you have not accepted the Lord Jesus into your life it's very simple okay you want to surrender your life to his will okay what's your name if you can just give me your name praise the Lord okay what's your name can you type in your name Anthony okay Anthony you know Jesus died for you he died that you might be free and once we recognize that we need the Lord in our life we simply recognize we're a sinner and we go to the Lord and we just say I repent of all my sins and you can tell God that in your own way Lord, I'm coming to you today and I repent of all of my sins and I ask you to forgive me and cleanse me and wash me. Wash me and make me new and I commit today to serve you from this day forward. And if you pray that, you mean that, he'll come in right now. He will wash you, cleanse you, and baptize you in the Holy Spirit. And I pray, Father, right now that Anthony will make Jesus his choice, that he will surrender 100% his will and his life to you because Jesus you died so that he might be free and we thank you for that I thank you for Anthony right now and I ask you dear Lord that all of the blockages and all the things that have been up around him that have prevented him from coming to you will just melt down and move in Jesus name and Father God that you'll come into his heart right now wash him and make him ever clean make him whole right now by the power of Jesus we thank you right now we come against the enemy now hallelujah any mind blocking spirits mind binding spirits we bind them we in Jesus name hallelujah we lose you now we say be free in Jesus name hallelujah from every chain yes Lord okay yes Lord clean up his heart forgive him now we thank you right now father God cleanse him deliver him right now everybody on this pray 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 hallelujah we thank you now cleanse him by the power of God in the mighty name of Jesus we thank you for the anointing in the presence of God let him feel your presence father God let him know you love him Jesus you come on into his life and make a difference right now we, we thank you for Anthony we thank you for his life we thank you God right now hallelujah and we bind the enemy in any kind of way right Right now in Jesus name thank you father God Holy Spirit do the work that needs to be done make him new make him clean give him a clean heart creating him a clean heart and renewing him a right spirit oh God a spirit and a heart to do what's right in the name of Jesus father we thank you hallelujah we thank you we praise you because God your word declares that we are accepted in the beloved so father God we thank you right now that when we come to you hallelujah when we come to you just as we are father God you come in and father you are our father glory to God and your word declares that we can come boldly to the throne of grace and find help in the time of need so now he's coming to you right now father you do the work you cleanse and wash and make him clean make him every whit whole Jesus we thank you hallelujah for the work that you're doing right now hallelujah we thank you your word declares whosoever will let him come drink freely of the waters of life because father it is your will it is your pleasure hallelujah that we come to you that we receive you that we're that we are restored back in fellowship with you right relationship with you so we claim that for anthony today and we thank you father god that your will will be done in his life father god and i pray that lord god you will let him know that you're real by the peace of God. Because, God, you give us peace that passeth all understanding. He desires to be whole. So, Lord, touch him and minister to him right now. In the mighty name 
of Jesus. I thank you and I praise you for doing it. Oh God, right where you are, lift up your hands and begin to praise the Lord. Lift up your hands and just thank God for his presence. Thank God for Jesus coming into your life. Just give God glory right now. Come on and magnify the Lord. Come on and lift him up right now. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. God, we go Shanda Bohaya. We love you. We appreciate you, Father God. There's nobody like you. No one can do us the way you do, Jesus. We thank you today and we praise you now. Hallelujah. For the work that was done on the cross. You died for our sins. You died, hallelujah, for our sicknesses. You died for our diseases. You died that we may have a right to the tree of life. And Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for that, but you did not stay in the grave. You got up, hallelujah, and now you are sitting on the right hand of the Father, and you are making intercession for us right now. You're making intercession for Anthony right now. Right now, Jesus, stand up. Obo, Shondo, Haya, stand up on his behalf today. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you, hallelujah. You're standing up for everybody on this line today. You're standing up and you're fighting, hallelujah. We thank you now. We praise you now. Oh, God, we love you now. Hallelujah. You are a right now, God. You are on time. You're never busy, God. You are never late. Obo, Shondo, Haya, thank you, Jesus. Jesus, glory to your name. We bless you right now, Father God. Let your healing virtue go out to this man of God right now. This young man, let your healing virtue go out. Your cleansing virtue go out. Your delivering virtue go out. In the name of Jesus, because Jesus, you came to set the captive free. You came to heal the brokenhearted. You came to proclaim liberty. Hallelujah. And we thank you for that liberty for Anthony today. We thank you, God, that he will never be the same. Every chain, every weight, every fetter, break it now. Destroy it now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We praise you, God. We give you glory now. We magnify you now. We lift you up, oh God, because truly, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Oh God, so we thank you for his life today. We thank you, God, for change today. We thank you that you come to do, do us good. Yes, God. Yes, God. We praise you. He praises you. He thanks you now. Oh, my child. Baptize him in the Holy Ghost. Father God, fill him today. Fill him to overflowing with the Holy Ghost. Give him boldness to stand. Give him boldness, oh God. Hallelujah. To go forth in the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you. We praise you for your word today. We thank you, Jesus, for this soul. Your, the Bible says there's joy in heaven. There's rejoicing for one. Just one. Hallelujah. So we rejoice today. We praise you today. We magnify you today. We say hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for his soul salvation today. We praise your wonderful name. We magnify you, God. We lift you up. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody should praise him. I know you're praising him today. I know you're joyful today. Oh, God, we give God glory. We give him praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for salvation, for deliverance. Now, Father, fill him. Fill every area. Fill every area. Fill every Every area, every area with the Holy Ghost. Transform his mind. Let his mind be renewed today. Hallelujah. Let his heart be renewed today. Oh my God. Every desire that's not like you, flush it out of him today. Bring deliverance and cleansing today. Oh God, your word works and all we're doing is decreeing it and declaring it and we're speaking it into his life today. So I thank you, Father. I give you glory. I give you honor. Hallelujah. We thank you for miracles. Now, Father, heal his body if he needs healing. <clears throat> bring healing to his soul, to his mind, to his emotions. Oh my God. Oh my God. Even from the ravaging of sin, every area, Father, you go in and you begin to permeate and make a difference and just go in and soothe and heal. Oh God, do the work. Yes. Restore, Father God. Restore and oh God, reconcile, refresh in the name of Jesus. We thank you now that he is a new creature. All things are passed away and behold, all things 
things have become new. And we thank you for that. We thank you, God, that he's made new because of the word of God and because of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you right now. And we praise you. Yes, yes. Old things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. And so we thank you right now for Anthony. Somebody should just say, thank God for Anthony. Thank God for salvation. Thank God for deliverance. And thank God for healing today. Come on, somebody. Get your mind on the Lord. Someone get your mind on the Lord. Don't be, pull your mind up. Come on here. Somebody, thank God for this man of God. Thank God that he's given his life to the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. You got to remember when you got saved. I remember when I got saved. I remember when Jesus came into my life. I remember he made a difference. Praise Praise the Lord. And I have never been the same because when God really comes in, amen, he cleanses you. He delivers. He washes you. He makes you, oh God, free. Yes, it's a time to rejoice. It's a time to praise God. It's a time to magnify him. Glory to God for what God is doing. Amen. For every one of you on the line, whatever you need this morning, praise the Lord. God will do it for you. Yes, the joy of the Lord is your strength on today. Day. The joy of God is on is your strength. Praise the Lord. And Anthony, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Jesus is with you. He loves you and he cares about you. Praise the Lord. Now I want you, amen, if you have a Bible, begin to read your word. Amen. Get in the book of John. You need to know who Jesus is. Amen. You need to know who he is. So I'm encouraging you, dear one, to, to get in the word of God. Begin to read the book of John. Got to know who Jesus is. You need a relationship. That's the main thing. We all need a relationship. I don't care how long you've been saved. Come on, somebody. If you don't have an intimate relationship with the Lord, you're just kind of going along in the motions. But, son, we want you to get in there and get a relationship with the Lord. Get a Bible. Begin to read the book of John, the gospel of John. Just start right there. Hallelujah. Yes, as Mother Jackie said, help us. Yes, we all need help. Come on here, because some of us don't crack our Bibles open. Some of us are not reading the word like we should. And listen, let me tell you something. Relationship means work. Come on here, somebody. If you're married, praise the Lord, and you don't never talk to your husband, your wife, you're not going to have much of a relationship. Come on here, somebody. You're welcome. Praise God. God, to God be the glory, to God be the glory, great things that he has done and he will continue to do. Amen. We thank God for Anthony on today. We give God praise and we give him glory. Like I said, you need to get in the word, every one of you on here. Come on here, somebody. We got to stay linked in. Yes, God bless you. Bless him. Just welcome him into the family. He's now in the family of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know what? Amen. A great host of angels are rejoicing right now. They're rejoicing because one has repented. Come on here, somebody. If you could hear, amen, the heavenly choir that's, that's singing right now. Come on, somebody. Praise the Lord. So we need to rejoice. Amen. We need to give God glory. We need to give him praise. Hallelujah. Because truly, he is worthy. So we welcome you, Brother Anthony, into the family of God. You're now, amen, in the family of God. You're no longer by yourself. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody ought to praise the Lord right now. Magnify God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, God. We bless you right now. We praise you right now. We glorify you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody praise him today. Glory to God. We thank God for Jesus. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Just cry it out. Praise God. Shout the victory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is amazing. Yes, prophet. God is amazing. We serve an amazing God. We serve an awesome God. We serve an on-time God. He's never busy. and He is never late. He's always on time. He knows how to step in. He knows when to do it. He knows how to do it. He knows where to do it. Glory to God. We don't have to ask him how and all that. We just need to ask him to do it. 
it. Come on here. And he will do the rest. Praise the Lord. When you open up and you let God in, he will come in. The Bible says, behold, Jesus said, behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone open, he said, I'll come in. Glory to God. He said, I'll, I'll, I'll sup with him and he with me. And God wants to sup with you. He wants to sup with us. He wants to dwell. He wants to abide. He wants to remain with us. Come on, somebody. This is why prayer is so important. Morning man is important. Come on here, somebody. God wants to do in you what only he can do. There are things in our lives, come on, somebody, that God needs to get in there and pull down and knock down. And when we get before the Lord, when we, amen, pull away and we get with God, God will begin to do the inward work that he needs to do. Come on, somebody. It's not about religion. It's about relationship and morning manna, praise God, is, is, is necessary for each and every one of us. We need the bread from heaven. We need to pull in, praise God, with God each and every day. And if you're not getting the word every day, you're deficient. Your spirit man is deficient. You're weak, praise God. I don't care how long you say you've known God, but if you're not getting in there with God, you are weak, praise God. And then when the enemy comes in and when things happen, praise the Lord, you will not be able to stand. But God is giving us how to stand because he's shaking us. He's shaking us to get into a place of prayer. Come on here, somebody. Praise the Lord. So, amen. The only way to annihilate the enemy is through prayer. We don't do it in flesh and blood. Praise God. We don't fight. Amen. With flesh and blood. Yeah, we bomb him in prayer. Praise God. We bomb him by getting in the spirit. Come on, somebody. We bomb him by recognizing that our weapons are not carnal, but they're mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. We 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 defeat the enemy. No, not literally. Praise the Lord. So I'm gonna block you. Praise the Lord. No, we defeat the enemy through with the word of God. Come on, somebody somebody. Amen. We got to get in position. That's correct, prophet. We must get in position spiritually now to fight. We're not fighting, amen, with natural weapons. Praise the Lord. I just told someone, praise God, when you come in this zone, you enter in a boot camp. This is boot camp. Come on here. God is raising up and aligning soldiers, men and women of God, that are sold out. Come on here. I don't know. If you're not sold out to God, you better get sold out. Come on. It's time to, amen, let go of everything, amen, that you think that you need to hold on to that God may be saying, I can't use that. Because when you enter the natural army or the military, everything that you're used to, they tell you, we can't use that. We can't use that. They even take your clothes. You got to put your civilian clothes in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, uh, what do you call it? A, a, a locker. Praise God. You got to pack them up. Come on here, somebody. You can't, you can't wear your civilian clothes. Amen. They've got to outfit you from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. And when they get done with you, you don't look the same. Come on here, somebody. You don't act the same. If you really, amen, are determined to be a soldier, you get disciplined. Come on, you get disciplined. Praise the Lord. And that's what we need. Some of us need discipline in our lives. We've been going around for years. Praise the Lord. Doing all the right things. Come on, looking like we're, amen, making some progress. But when all you're doing is marking time. Amen. You can't really get anywhere just marking time. Marking time means you are, amen, marching in place. Come on here, somebody. But you got to recognize that, amen, God wants you to be fully equipped, amen, to move, praise God, to move forward, praise the Lord. So this is why prayer is important, that we've got to spend time with God and we got to get to know him in the word. But more importantly, you got to let God outfit you. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, we find every troll in Jesus' name. I take authority over it. I'm still going to go on. Praise the Lord. Amen. Come on here, somebody. Just pray with me for a moment. Praise the Lord. God is outfitting and equipping us. Amen. He is stripping us of everything that he can't use in the natural military. You get stripped down. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. In God's army, in order to carry the anointing, you have to get stripped down down. Everything about you has to die. Your, your identity has to be in Christ. Come on, somebody. Paul was a changed man 
overnight, praise God. When he had an encounter with God, his life was never the same in just three days. Come on, somebody. He fasted and he prayed. Okay, he don't want to smoke anymore. Praise the Lord. So, Father God, I ask you, Lord God, to deliver Anthony from the nicotine spirit in Jesus' name. Just take that nicotine, draw it right on out in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Every addiction, every habit, oh God, in Jesus' name. Flush it out right now. Somebody just say, flush it out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So God wants to, uh, he wants to uh, align us with himself. Praise the Lord. Amen. This is why he gives us the armor. He gives us the armor, praise God, because he's the one. Y'all pray with me. Pray with me. Pray with me. Pray with me. In Jesus' name, we bind every troll demon in the name of Jesus. Y'all know I'm not going to stop. Flush it out right now in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father God, for your cleansing, Father. We thank you, God. Yes, we bind every troll in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for what you're doing. Listen, God wants to build you up. He wants to make you, but he can't make you if you're not willing to be made. If you're not willing now to put down everything that's not like God, come on somebody, hallelujah. It's not about just going through motions, appearing that you're something that you're not. Come on here. Every spirit, there are demon spirits. Some of you are bound by some of these things and I'm going to call them out. Amen. I'm going to call them out right now. Let me just tell you this right now. Some of you are bound by Jezebel. Some of you have Jezebel spirit. Some of you are bound by Ahab. Some of you, some of you have a Cain demon. Come on here. Some of you have an Absalom spirit. And Absalom, just, you know, Absalom was took has a takeover spirit, and he thought that he could do more and do better than his father David. It, it cost him his life. Jezebel can be in a man or a woman. Ahab can be in a man or a woman. It's a spirit. Come on here. So what I'm telling you is. There are things in our lives that God don't want. Amen. So when you come to God, he knows what's there. And you have to be willing to let God clean you up. Come on here, somebody. Some of us have hidden motives, hidden agendas, have haystack spirit. A haystack is something that hides under the hay. You can't see it. But it, it, eventually, that thing is going to come to the top. How many of you know God's removing the hay? He's blowing on it. Holy Ghost is blowing on everything, hallelujah, and revealing. He's exposing us. Come on, bringing us to the light. Come on here, somebody. Bringing our attitudes to the top. Come on, somebody. Yes, in Jesus' name. So, Father God, I thank you now for, for, for you cleansing this brother, cleanse him in his mind, cleanse him in his spirit, in Jesus' name. Father God, we take authority over the enemy right now. You all got to recognize deliverance is taking place, healing is taking place. Somebody better pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. So those of you on the line and you know that you got attitudes, you got behaviors, amen, addictions, Jesus died that you might be free. Yes, yes. That's why he came. So prayer keeps us connected to God, amen, and when you get in that, that quiet place with him, he's able to deal. Come on, somebody. Amen. He's able to deal, but we got to let, we got to let God be God in our lives. Hallelujah. This is morning manna. We're going to talk. We're still talking about prayer. This is prayer. Principles of prayer. Getting real with God. Yeah. Get real with God. Get real with him. That's what the brother did. Just get real. You know, you have a, you have a, a habit. You have an addiction. You have a flesh problem. Uh, whatever the case may be, like trolls come on here and they say mean, dirty things. Praise God. Those are spirits. Those are trolls. And we call them trolls. Amen. But what it is, is they're works of the flesh. That's right. Just be honest. Come on, somebody. Because when you're honest and open, then God can help you. If you're not honest, you got a lot of pride, you think you got it going on, you think you got it all, all together, you don't. You don't. Come on. Come on. I don't. Come on. Amen. We're still being made. Come on. Just get real. Get real with God. Hallelujah. Recognize where you are, that we need him. We need him more than we've ever needed him before. Yes. So when it comes to principles of prayer, number one, we are commanded to pray. It's a command. So if you're not praying consistently, yes, thank you, Jesus. 
He wants to be free. He wants to be a soldier of God. So, Father, we thank you for the desire. We thank you, Father God, that um, freedom is his because of the word of God. And the Bible says that, Lord, he that the sun set free is free indeed. And so when he wash and cleanse us, we are made free, we're made whole. And so let him know today that you have made him free, that he's in the beloved. Now, Father God, give him a desire for your word. Let your will be done in his life. Yes, sister said God is calling us to real. Yes, to realness. That's exactly right, sis. I like that. He's calling us to pull down every false front and get real. Right where you are right now. Think about where you are right now. Are you pleasing God? Okay, we'll pray for grandson. He's traveling today. Mother Jackie, Pastor Janita, mark that down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. We thank God for you. Praise the Lord. Okay? Um, so, 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 Amen. We thank God for that. Praise the Lord. Listen, listen. We're commanded to pray. We're commanded to pray. If you're not praying, that's a sin. The Bible said he didn't know what to do good, do it. It's not. It is sin. Jalen. Okay. We lift up Jalen. Father God, give him traveling mercies today in the mighty name of Jesus. All right? When, when should you pray? You can pray in the morning. And I'm big on that. Okay? Yes, you can listen. You can listen in. Yes, you can. Praise the Lord. Okay? We won't, we, we won't tolerate any foolishness from anybody, but you can listen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God that you're listening. So there's a command for us to pray. Um, we can pray in the morning, pray at noon. You're welcome. Pray in the evening. The Bible says pray without ceasing. That means on every occasion, every opportunity you get to pray, pray. That prayer is talking to God. Prayer is communing with him, okay? And, and, and how should we pray? Is there a particular way? We can stand, we can kneel, we can lay prostrate. Sometimes you need to get down on the floor and lay out. That, that, that really says I'm submitted to God. I'm not going to just do things my way. I'm going to do it God's way. Okay? Sometimes you're weeping. Sometimes weeping comes on. Come on. It's okay. You know what? Some of us, our emotions are locked up, so locked up, we can't really express how we feel. But how many of you know when the Spirit of the Lord comes on you, He can get into those areas. He can get in those areas even if you're angry. And you tell Him, I'm angry. You're being honest. But in that, he'll come in, and he'll take that anger, and you'll begin to weep before the Lord. You begin to say, thank you, Jesus, for the freedom. I don't feel heavy anymore. I feel light. Come on, somebody. I, I, that heaviness is gone. What happened? I, my mind is clear. Come on, somebody. Why? The Spirit of the Lord will come in. So these are principles of prayer. This is what, that's right. It's cleansing. He comes to cleanse you. And crying really is healthy for you. You know, they, they had this thing about men and boys shouldn't cry. That's foolishness. That's foolishness. Everybody needs to cry. I don't care who you are. Come on. Jesus wept. So if he wept, he cried because his friend died. What about you? Do you think you're supposed to be like this and not cry? And Jesus did. He wept over Jerusalem. He, will, he weeps over you. He cries over us. He intercedes for us. He's touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Oh, my God. So who are we to think we shouldn't cry? Come on, somebody. Oh, you shouldn't be crying. Man up. Man up. Man up and cry. Man up and get somewhere and let God pull that pride down. Stop being arrogant and stubborn. Come on, stiff neck. Come on, somebody. You know your children. Children, when they look at their father. And they see him tender and crying. That touches that child. Oh, my God. Come on, somebody. You all stiff neck. You looking all straight. No, I got it all together. No, you don't. <laughs> you don't. That's right. Get rid of the strongholds. Let God have them. Come on, somebody. When the breaking and molding comes, just let God do what he wants to do. Okay? Where, where should you pray? Where should you pray? 
Where should you pray? If you have a closet, you can go in your closet. If you have a little separate room, you go in there. If you, if you, beside your bed, in your bathroom, wherever you make your prayer, go in there. Go in there. We have a ministry center, so our sanctuary is 24-7. Is you can come in the sanctuary and pray any time. And the glory of God tabernacles here. God is here. He's here, and he's where you are. Come on. He's where you are. Praise the Lord. Okay, you can pray out in the mountains. You can go in the, uh, uh, go take a walk, go to the lake. Some of us, you need to learn how to get quiet and get still, go by yourself. Turn your phone off, leave your phone in the car. Leave that phone, get off the Facebook. Come on, somebody, and get with God every day. Get with the Lord. Some of you are not doing that, and it's killing you spiritually. It's killing you. You got to get with God. Get real now. You're a soldier. If you're a soldier, let God equip you. All right? You don't pray like a hypocrite. Don't be no hypocrite. Don't say one thing and do another. That's what a hypocrite is. Your hypocrite will tell you what to do. Come on. But they ain't doing it. They can give you all the right words, but they're not doing it. Okay? Why should we pray? Why? To glorify God. We pray to glorify and magnify the name of the Lord. Okay? Now, these, these are just principles. Principles. Let me, let me give them to you again. We're com number one, we're commanded to pray. Okay? Um, let, me give you, let me give you a scripture. Let me give you a scripture. Okay? Um, Matthew 7, 7 through 11. Okay? Is it 2 Chronicles seven fourteen? If my people... I love that scripture. Would you call by my name, humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways. Listen, he said, if my people. He is talking to the church because there's wickedness in the church and God's getting that out. Okay? He said, I'll heal your land, forgive your sins, and heal your land. So we're commanded to pray. When should we pray in the morning? Psalm 88 and 13. Okay? Psalms 143, verse 8. Okay? Psalms, uh, Psalms 88 and 1 talks about praying twice a day. Psalms 55, I'm sorry, Psalm 55 and 17 talks about praying three times a day. And also Daniel 6 and 10, because Daniel prayed three times a day. He had a set time to pray. He did not miss his hour of prayer. Okay, don't hit and miss. Okay. And then we told we talked about praying without ceasing. That is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. Okay. To pray at night. Okay, how I many of you know? <laughs> the, the darkest part of the night, 12 through 3. Okay. Um, that's when the enemy really, really is moving. Okay, but God is moving. We're, we're taking the night back over. Amen. Yeah, yeah. The church is going to take the night back over. Okay. Mark chapter 1, verse 35. And then Luke 6 and 12. And then you can pray day and night. According to Luke chapter 2, verse 37. Okay. And, and I talked about attitudes, in other words, postures of prayer. You can pray sitting. Acts chapter 1, verse 14. You can pray standing, Luke 18 and 13. Okay? You can lie down and pray. 1 Samuel 12, 16 through 20. Now, these are scriptures. This is the word of God. Okay? So, it's valid. All right? Um, th th these are just postures. You can kneel and pray. Psalms 95, verse 6. And, and it's a good thing to get down on your knees. Come on. Okay? Um, let's see. Luke 22 and 41. Jesus, when he was in, in Gethsemane, he agonized. He interceded. Good morning. Good morning, dear. He interceded and he agonized. And he fell down on his knees and he prayed. And he, Because just before having to go, through, go to the cross, he felt the weight of it. That's intercession. And he had to pray that through, and he did. 
And then when he finished it, he knew it was done. A lot of things God wants to do in the spirit first. He wants us to be willing to pray them through. Okay? We talked about talking to God, Genesis 18, 23 through 33. Okay? The Spirit, the Holy Spirit sometimes will pray through us with groanings that can't be uttered. Okay? Uh, Romans 8, 26, and 27. Okay? And we talked about where to pray. Talk, talked about praying in your closet. And when you pray in your closet, you're praying no one can see you but God. Okay? And um, Matthew 6 and 6. Um, you can go in the mountains. Matthews 14 and 23. In your home, anywhere in your home, you can pray. Okay. All right. There's no set place, but if you have a designated area, make that your designated area to pray every day. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. And we do not pray like the hypocrites. Matthews chapter 6, verses 5. And finally, the purpose is to glorify God. The purpose of prayer is to glorify God. Okay? John chapter 14, verses 13 through 15. And then John chapter 16, verse 24. Father, I thank you. I thank you for what you've done today. I thank you for your word. I thank you, God, for saving our brother Anthony. Yes, 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 that's correct. Father, I thank you. And I ask you, Father, to, to help us. Help us to take these principles and apply them to our daily life. Father, you're pulling your people to a place of prayer. Giving us morning manna each and every day that feeds our spirit that rejuvenates and refreshes us. I thank you for that. And I ask you, dear Lord, to continue the work that you've begun. Father God, I thank you for what you're doing for us. I thank you that you're making and molding and shaping your people. I thank you, Father, that even the, the situations in the world that we as Christians need to pray about, you're going to give us wisdom how to pray. You're going to give us wisdom how to pray about the elections and the different things that's going on in our nation because America still belongs to God. We will not let the enemy take it. We will stand and we will fight. We will war, hallelujah, in a place of prayer. So, Father, minister to everyone here today. I pray that as they go throughout their day that you will minister, that you will bless them, that, Father God, that they will uh, understand and get to know you in a greater way understand the purposes of and reasons why we need to pray we need to stay in a place of prayer so father encourage them right now save deliver and set free by the power of the holy ghost i thank you and i praise you minister right now those that may have to go to work be with them those that praise god or have things to do today minister to them and father we thank you we praise you now for all that you're doing we give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Beloved, remember, God loves you. He does. He cares about you. He has your best interests at heart. And he will work all things out for you just because he loves you. And just because he cares. We will be back in the morning for another morning manna. And then on Thursday afternoon, we'll be on Facebook Live for Heart to Heart. And I'm excited about what God is doing with that. We will be visiting with you from the Word of God, heart to heart. <laughs> we pray that you'll be able to join us. Remember, stay with God. Stay in a place of prayer. Continue to let God be God in your life until we meet again. I pray the blessing of the Lord be upon you today. In Jesus' name, God bless you.